Hey guys, I just want to show off a real casual, mostly not edited gameplay video of my brand new card game, Fool's Blade, which at the time of recording this is live for another five days. So hop in, get the extra goodies, the most affordable Kickstarter exclusive price, and check it out. And if you're watching this five days after this has been recorded, it's still available at foolsblade.com. You can check it out at foolsblade.com at any time. That's where its home is always going to be, Kickstarter or not. And yeah, I just wanted to show off some gameplay. This is basically unedited. We're just hanging out playing the game. I'm playing with my two buddies that helped make the game. And yeah, we had a lot of back and forth, a ton of laughter, goofy moments, sabotage, amazing things happen that we've barely seen in like the hundreds of playtest games we've done. So really good game to show it off. It's a bit of a long one, but you know, we we took a little bit more time to, to play this than it usually takes to play because we're explaining each card. We're going a little slowly for... You, the viewer, so we're not just steamrolling past some things, but you can expect a lot shorter games than this when you when you own the game and you and you know the cards. Um, but yeah, and we kind of goofed up a few times as any card game does. Sometimes we didn't swap over a card when we should have, or tiny insignificant things that you won't even care about. Um, and we're playing the current newest version of the game, so the old manual on the Kickstarter and maybe even the game down the line might have some small changes to some numbers or some balance changes or quick rule things. So if anything changes, that's why, but this is the current version. Super proud of it. It's such a fun game. So check out the gameplay, check out Fool's Blade on Kickstarter or at foolsblade.com and I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy. What is that thing? What? You've targeted me for the last time. Uh, you don't know that. <laughs> At all, actually. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Yoink! A 17! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh dear, Neptune. Let's, let's not get a little hasty. Let's go. And the runic sword has been fully assembled. <laughs> that, that was not the last time I targeted you. I was going to target it again. Forging. <laughs> the ultimate no, no, no. doom saber. No, no, no. Oh, no. that's tough. Go. You could be a little scared. I tied it, and combat's been resolved. <laughs> I and we've all agreed that you <laughs> died it on the back God of the one. <laughs> Give me that blade. You have like ten blades. No, I get the good ones. <laughs> Eleven. Oh my no God. Way. Sixteen. I guess you can have a cool rock. I'm a, you. I don't you, want the contraption. You, you cast fireball. No way. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Break a curse in any player's gear setup. <laughs> ah! This game's called Fool's Blade. Do you want to play it? I'd like to play I brought my buddies in to play Fool's Blade. It's a game that uh, we created where you slay monsters, you build swords, and by God, you just you just giggle around, you have a fun time. But you know what, we start with this thing. Have you ever heard of this? What's that it's called? It's called a dimensional twenty. Okay. It's called a multi. It's called a D twenty for short, but it stands for dimensional twenty. My D and D. No, it's multiverse. Dungeon twenty. D oh, it's a it's a dungeon twenty. Yeah. So this has multi sides. That we we're gonna choose who goes first here by How rolling. Many sides? Surely we could count it, right? Anybody got an abacus? It's like over 15. So we roll this and we decide who's gonna go first in this dang contest. I think 16 is pretty good. It's yeah, not it's bad. Good. You think that's good? Yeah. Watch that. Boom. See, I was going Seven. Go a lower number. I'm gonna go right in the middle. Right in the middle. Oh! 18, 18 right in the middle. Can't count. Can't so. Count. This guy's going first, which means we're going to go this way in our turn rotation. No, um, we're going to go this way. It's, it's clockwise. We're going to go that way. So the first thing I need to do is pick my clock. I, ha I have never owned a clock in my life. <laughs> this is the first time I understand clockwise. So he's picking his class. I'm picking my class. He's going to pick his class. That will determine my class abilities. I'm choosing the blissfully unaware adventurer. Uh, yeah, me next. I don't know how turn structure goes. And I am going to pick one of my faves, if he exists. It, oh, he's at the top. I'm going to pick Warlock. That was, that was completely, completely unnecessary. unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, You're really I'm embodying get, the values I'm of get, Fool's Blade. I'm getting brown. I, don't I, even I think about the Fool of Fool's Blade here. Yeah. I already know who I'm, I'm playing. I'm going to have to edit that out or everyone's going to start calling me the Fool of Fool's Blade in the comment section below. I'm and playing so. Monster in Disguise. <laughs> Alright. So... Now we gotta give everyone a handle card. Everyone starts with a handle card. So deal cards until a handle is revealed for each player. Or I can just shuffle through it. Yeah, you can do that too. I mean, it's kind of breaking the rules and ruining the entire game, but. Handle acquired. 
Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Now give that shuffle. I'm scooching the dice. I can't shuffle. You shuffle. I'll shuffle. He's too afraid. Everyone will see me shuffle badly. <laughs> then they're going to point it out. The internet will know the deficiencies of your shuffling. I'm going to say shoveling. Shoveling? Yeah, we need a shovel sword. All right. So now everyone gets a tavern, an anvil card, and a quest card, starting with that fool joker over there. Let me in here. Let, let me out. Hey, why, hey, hey why let, me, let, me get in here. let me get in here. Every, hey, everyone grab, everyone grab a piece. These cards are, are definitely going to secure my victory in this contest. You don't even know what's coming. Well, I, I do because my, my cards, I can see what my cards do, so I know. <laughs> All right, just to be clear, we do have to move clockwise around the table. That way, yeah. Yeah, well, we turn order is not determined by, like, numerically ranking the players. It always goes clockwise. So, we've ruined, so it's person. unplayable. We've ruined the game. So well, just, I, just establish. I knew that, and you were the only one who didn't know that. It's genuinely over. Okay, so. Okay. So this game's ruined. So this guy's going first. I'm gonna start off by drawing a tavern card. No In the way. tavern phase. No way. Yes, it's the tavern phase. So every player starts their turn at the tavern phase, so you always draw a tavern card at the beginning of the game. Beginning of the turn. First. Well then, not first, second actually, I'm going to. <laughs> I can't count. <laughs> I'm gonna assemble, then I'm gonna play Guess I've Got Time to Kill. I can choose a destination and do it twice this turn. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to be visiting the forge. When I visit the forge, I reveal the top three cards. I pick one. In this case, it's going to be the guard, the runic sword. And now, optionally, if you wanted, you could discard one weapon piece from your hand to take a second card, and that's called reforging. That is correct. But I don't want to. You want any of those lane pieces? I would. Well, because I can visit the forge twice this turn, Ooh. because of guess I've got time to kill, Ooh. I'm just going to put the top one on there and then choose another one here. I think I'm <clears> going <throat> to choose the handle of the burning world. Now when okay. we're finished with the tavern okay. phase, the cards go right back on top. The forge. The phase. forge. Yeah, I'm sorry. Phase. And that ends my turn. Okay. And this goes into the discard pile. Now it's gonna go clockwise. So yep. you. So now it's my turn. <laughs> Okay, so again, starting my turn in the tavern, just like always, so I draw a tavern Welcome card. Welcome back to the tavern. Uh, ooh, I could do that, but I won't. I'm gonna, um, I'm also gonna um, hit up the um, anvil. I'm visiting the forge here. So I'm drawing from the anvil deck and I'm revealing, revealing three cards. Um, let's see what we've got here. That's not bad, that's not bad. Um, I'm gonna take the Mimic Blade Pommel. And that's it for my job. Rookie mistake. <laughs> so I'm starting the tavern phase, of course. <clears throat> I'm going to draw the best tavern card probably in the entire game. And I'm also going to check out the anvil here. I'm going to spread out the three cards. And I am going to go with the Vegetable Vengeance Guard. And I am going to discard or reforge my photorealistic sword handle for another guard. I remember that gets discarded. Yep. yep. Boop. And it goes in the anvil trash pile. And that is also the end of my turn. Sweet. And this is oh, whoa, whoops. Whoops. There he goes. Now it's the end of my turn if I'm done cheating. All right, now I'm going to draw a tavern card for it is my turn once again. Doubt that. Let's see. I'm going to assemble my guard onto my sword. I'm gonna go a little crazy. You're going a little wackadocious. I'm going a little wackadocious. A little... I'm going monster. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you yes. can. Maybe that wasn't a great idea. Oh, maybe that's a bad one. <laughs> maybe I'm gonna need the foresight to die. <laughs> Take it, dweeb. To, all right, to roll. So just to be clear, um, this monster card here has a modifier. So it has a um, a D4 modifier, which means you're um, adding its three strength. And then you roll the d4 to determine extra strength it's on top of it. Yeah, I know that. Who are you talking to? Yeah. No one else is No here one else is watching this. There's no one you're else actually, You're actually all, crazy. We made this game. <laughs> <laughs> you keep doing this. <laughs> As if you're explaining this to someone. Who <laughs> could? So what kind of elements do you have over there? Ooh. Ooh. So now that's up to six fire strength. Six he rolled a fire. You got some water over there, right? So I've got a little bit of water that counts as double against the fire. Okay, so that's four right off the bat. Extinguish it. That's four, six, seven. seven. That thing is vanquished. It's dead. 
the unattended campfire has been defeated. Not unless I have something to say about no, it. No, you don't. I don't actually. So be quiet. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> so when you defeat a monster, you add it to your stash. You lay it face up on the table. So it's the in the stash. See it. um, Consider it in the stash. In Wait, stash. and there's also, what's this, a win effect? When huh? I, when I defeat it, I draw one loot card. A loot that's card. this pile over loot? here. Oh, I love... I like loot. Loot cards contain like point cards and right legendary here. legendary weapons. weapon pieces. Uh, legendary weapon pieces also go into your stash until you're ready to use them if you choose to use them. Yeah, we know that. We made we made the <laughs> game. I don't. I actually don't know any of these rules, so this is actually really helpful. Uh, honestly. All right, is, so that's is, the end of your turn, right? That's the end of my turn. Isn't there a rule? I, I, I roll a one, I win. And and I just won the game. No, Back it up. Game and game. I just won the game. We got rid of that rule. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna <laughs> do my tavern phase. It's a weighted dice. It always rolls one. I like this. I like where this is going. Okay, so I am going to uh, assemble my blade. I'm gonna lay down my mimic guard and my mimic pommel here. So let's do this. Whoa. Yeah, I'm I'm creating a devilish. You're, you're going devilish. He's assembling. Blade. He's going mimic mode. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use. I'm playing the card, I will surpass you. Um, this says, choose another player, and for the rest of my turn, I can use that player's weapon and gear during any and all combat. So I'm gonna choose you. Okay. I'm gonna discard this. Um, so that for the rest of my turn, whenever I do combat, I get to use your stats. And I am definitely going monster hunting. So I'm gonna reveal from because the Because you forest. like my sword way better. Exactly. Okay. I'm gonna reveal from the forest deck. Um, okay, so it's the treasure ghoul. Treasure ghoul also has a modifier, so it has a base of one strength, and then I'm gonna, um, draw a loot card and attach that to the treasure ghoul, and then its value is added as strength to the treasure That's ghoul. That's a four damage ghoul. So it's a four damage ghoul. I've got, I'm stealing your weapon right now. Um, so Sorry, I've got, kind, of, kind of theft. Yeah, what can I say? I've got more than enough strength to vanquish this guy, so um, I get to activate You mean I have more than enough strength to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're using him! So I'm going to um, activate the win effect, which is claim the attached cards. So the monster always goes into my stash. I'll keep that over here, and I also get to claim the loot card that was attached with it. So that was an excellent. So do I get to freaking play? Your uh, turn. I guess I'll figure it out. All right. Okay. Okay. So I am going to play. I've got the worst deja vu. Add one tavern card of your choice from the tavern trash pile to my hand. I'm going to pick the one you just played, and I'm also going to play. I will surpass you and steal Jacob's blade. I'm going to surpass you, and I am going to also go... Yeah, I'm not cool enough to go uh, more than the forest deck. And it's Jim. Weak little baby Jim. He's got one, he's got one attack. Read the, read the victory. I, I love this guy's victory and defeat effects. So his victory... What does it say if you had defeated him? If you, or, I'm sorry, if, if he had defeated you. <laughs> if he defeated me, I am mocked endlessly by the other players. But you won't get to have that delicious, <laughs> delicious thing. But yeah, I mean, no. I'll defeat him for you. Don't worry. Oh, I got oh. it. Uh, I would have tied on my own. I would have tied with Jim. So what's the victory effect? The victory is you get nothing. You killed an innocent man. He's going to oh, go man. in my stash. Jim is in my stash now. She just got really soft. And that's in my turn. <laughs> Alright, really Jim. I'm not sure if I want to play with her murderizer. But I'll try, and I'll draw my tavern card. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna play. Yeah. You can handle that. What does that do? I choose another player. You! No! Circle Tunes HD. No! You must go monster hunting on your next turn. Okay, that sounds fun and engaging and dangerous, and I actually am not prepared for that. That could, that could be kind of rough. <laughs> that, actually sounds, that actually sounds bad. Uh, okay, I'm also going to go. do a little symbolizing here. I'm going to switch out a part with my legendary weapon piece. And then I'm going to go monster hunting. This guy's cheating. This guy's cheating. I'm literally playing the game by rules as written. And you're cheating. A pitfall trap! I need to roll another die. Hand me that. D4? Let's scooch the die. A D4. I'll scooch it here. That goes there. This is here. Everything's right in the room. That's the combat zone now. Okay. I roll a D4. <laughs> a one. A little one trap. Ideal. I think I step right over this. <laughs> yeah, trap. That tra the trap is now just like a stomach tongue. So what's trap. the uh, victory effect? Uh, I draw one quest card oh, instead okay. of a loop card. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the end of your turn, right? That's the end of my turn. Alright. Starting in the tavern. Boom. 
Let's see what I got. Oh, that's not bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this right now. I'm doing. Uh, you can find another, right? Um, and the effect is I get to choose another player, and I can force them to discard one random card from their hand. Now you might be wondering, how do you determine a random card? Let's see. Hold all of them up, and I don't get to see them, and I just get to close your eyes. Grab. Close your eyes. Oh, yeah, I'll close my eyes and look away. And I can move my hand to make it so. <laughs> and it you can punch other players. You can actually poke them in the eyes. Oh, and he has to discard this. this oh, and there's an going, action card that is going in the. Yoink! Question yeah, because there's so many card backs, when you have to pick a random card, you have to close your eyes or look away. Yeah, exactly. You could obviously go for those nice premium cards. Okay, so that's just my tavern face. Um, I am going to... Let's... Uh, I'll, go f I'll visit the forge. So I'm going to draw three of these cards here. See if I can get a blade going. I really like to get a blade. <laughs> okay, um, so I will go ahead and take... Let's see. I'll take the um, wooden training sword handle, and I'm gonna put these back on top, and that's my turn. Tell you. <laughs> so, so did we license this? So my YouTube channel is dead now. Echo, shut up. When the robot uprising starts, I'm the first to go. It's actually gonna take me out. I'm gonna start my turn now without <laughs> Amazon listening in. Uh, and I'm gonna start in the tavern. So, because you screwed me over. What did I do? And uh, you dang old, this forcing me to go monster hunting. If I can screw with people before that. I'm gonna play, you can spare one, right? Choose a player who has more loot cards than you. They must pass one loot card of their choice for you. Hey, hey Buster with a rock over there. Come on! Give me that a, rock! That's a good hey, loot card. Yeah, I got the cool rock. He just gave you his loot card. Come on, man. Now I'm going to assemble my wimpy, you know what? <laughs> pretty pathetic blade right now. Uh, and I'm going to go, I have to go monster hunting. And watch as I reveal one of the weakest in the game. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, 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 so, um... I lose, which means I take the lose effect. Break your top weapon part. So I have to now destroy my guard part that I just popped in, and this guy now goes in the monster trash pile. He gets away, and he's he out of the game. He got away safely, so he's out of the game. He's out of there. The terrified time traveler is out of here, and it's your turn. Now that your combat's over, this tavern card that forced you to go into combat goes into the discard pile. And I draw, and my hatred I for have. you continues to grow. That's just how this game works. My hatred for you can't get much bigger. Uh, interesting. I love the art on the uh, mimic blade. It's so it's good. It's so great. I'm going to go monster hunting again. What? Yeah, I'm doing. Something a lot of monsters. I'm doing it. <gasps> the corrupted chef. Oh, that's a tough one. I, I have exactly equal to him. So normally... It would be a draw. Can we stop him? Can we stop him? Normally it would be a draw, but... But I'm playing my quest card, Knuckle Bracers. What does that do? That allows me to discard up to two guard cards and gain plus three strength for each one discarded. Give me the manual, please. I just want to have this ready in case we have a quick reference. And I'm discarding the runic sword guard, which puts me up to eight strength. Okay. Oh, okay. Man. Goodbye, corrupted chef. You've served your last meal. A dweeb. What a dweeb. And this gets discarded. This gets discarded. So what's discarded. the win effect? The win effect is I draw one loot card and one anvil card. That's a good one. He's getting a little too beefy over there. I'm not. I'm not a fan of this. And that's my turn. All right, starting with the tavern as usual. Uh, ooh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and reforge my blade for starters. I'm gonna switch my handle out for the wooden training. Ooh. And so things are looking Spot up, spicing it up. Me. Yeah, I've got a pretty sick uh, sword over here too. It's blue. Okay, so I'm going to go. Monster Hunter. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the Happy Tree Stump. Um, I handily defeat that. I got one, two, three, four. And uh, 
Yeah, and when I and this has a special effect, the wooden training sword. Whenever I defeat a monster with three or lower strength, which this does have, I get to draw an anvil card as well as the win effect. So I get to draw a loot card. I get to add this to my stash. Snap. I'm drawing loot. Oh. Worst loot in the game. Awesome. And, and we're to back. Draw an anvil card. And it's freaking right. my turn. All right. So I'm going to play. This is this is a uh, really good for me to draw. I could use a drink. If I lost my most recent combat encounter, draw two tavern cards. And I did lose my most recent combat encounter as I spilled the deck. And I am going to go questing. I draw two quest cards from the quest deck and end my turn. Okay. I'm going to the tavern. I'm drawing a tavern card. Interesting. Very interesting. How many cards you got, buddy? You're getting close to that handle. Got 35 cards. I'm, on, I'm getting close. I'm nearing the hand limit, but I'm not quite there. But you know what? They won't even know it's. They won't even notice it's gone. I'm going to choose a player. You. <laughs> and I'm going to choose to steal one random card from your hand. I'm going to look away. His eyes are wide open, staring at all of your cards. I'm looking right now. in the opposite direction. All right, grab. I want all. You can't have all, all of card? them. <laughs> That's one wide card. This, yes. this was his best card. <laughs> that card says, "Win the game." That goes to this card pile. I am going to go monster hunting. This guy's on a tear. The root of tripping. Bah, 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 bah. Easily vanquished. Yeah, easily that thing's vanquished. Dead. That thing's it's easily insta dead. dead. It's easily vanquished, alright? The win effect is I draw one quest card. Alright, alright, my turn. Starting in the tavern. I'm gonna place um my bad. Oops, I dropped it. What does this allow me to do? Psst. I can break a piece of uh, someone's gear setup or one of their weapon pieces. So, uh, yeah. You stop that! What is that? What is that? What is that? When another player plays a tavern card or activates a class ability in the tavern, immediately play this card to negate the card or class ability. It's negated! What have I ever done to you, huh? What did I do to deserve to be targeted by you? Oh, man. What's cyberbullying in real life called? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna go monster hunting as well. You got owned. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do some monster hunting. Let's, uh, oh, that's not bad. So I'm fighting the, the ghost wolf. The it's ghost got, wolf. It's got three strength. Again, I've got enough to kill it. I've got four right now. Um, and again, because it's got three or lower strength, I get to draw an anvil card in addition to the loot track. So I'm drawing an anvil card. You freak, yes! And, um, I also get to activate its win effect, which is draw a loot track. The worst loot again. Twice in a row. You're getting the dumb ones. All right. You guys ready for the craziest turn you've ever seen? Yep, this card says yeah, win the game instantly. So I'm going to probably... Then play it. I'm going to prove I'm it. nervous. So I'm going to play. I'm feeling hostile. If I go monster hunting during this turn and win that combat, you may reveal a second monster card and begin a combat with it. So I'm going to play that wall in the tavern. I'm going to play my gear card, the Vial of Super Corrosive Acid. During combat with a monster with 10 strength or lower, I can break this card to immediately win that combat. I'm also going to assemble. I'm going to put my winky dinky terrible... Well, I've gotten the worst weapon pieces. And I'm going to go into combat with a monster from the forest. And it's a scary pile of rocks. Luckily, I've got water damage. So one, two, three... Or sorry, one, two, three, barely making it out, killing that pile of rocks. Yeah, so uh, why do you do three damage with the water? When I have the water element, water does double damage to fire. So my one damage counts as two. Counts as two. My neutral is just obviously normal damage. So right. one, two, three, scary pile of rocks ain't so scary that thing's dead. I draw one quest card. Oh, but because of the tavern card I played, I get to immediately go back in. Bada bing! Oh, the sword collector. Five neutral damage. Oh, oh, what's this though? My vial of super corrosive acid. I'm going to break my vial. Oh my god. Which is going to cause this sword collector to immediately die. Also going into my stash, and I get his win effect, which is I draw two anvil cards, which I desperately needed. The gear card, which I broke, 
goes into the trash right, pile. You said that was going to be the best turn ever, and you, I don't think. Well, you I've got to discard down. Well, why so I've got discard down. I've got two dang many. There's a hand size limit of eight, and boy, oh, boy, am I past it. So I am going to discard down two eight, and I end my turn in attack position. I guess that means it's my turn now. Yeah. During the game. I want to read it. Stupid moron. I got him right where I want him. He thinks I'm a stupid moron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going monster hunter. Boom! It's the sneaky salamander. What you got? And he's dead. You want to stop that? How many? How many? One, two, three, four, five. Oh frick yes! I'm sorry. Right. I'm after. I'm calling on on the police wait, 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 wait. on you. So, I'm calling the police on your ass. What's going on here, <laughs> buddy? Huh? I'm activating my monster in disguise ability. So my this is my class ability. I'm playing as the monster in disguise. Um, and when another player is in combat with a monster, I can discard one card of any type to increase the monster's strength by two. So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go ahead and I discard this bad boy. And now he has six strength. Six water strength. Can you do anything about that, Buster? Huh? What's up? I don't care. I lose. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the defeat effect? Uh, I cannot play action cards on my next turn. All right, all right. Two words. Owned. All right, my turn. Let's spell that out real quick. I didn't even want to kill him anyway. So that's, that's the end of your turn. Yeah, right? it was actually like a really that's cool. That's the end of my turn. All right, draw my tavern. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll save that for a rainy day. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble. He's got the crab blade. Boom. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm. I would say that I might be feeling bold. Uh -oh. So. Uh oh. Um, I am going to. I'm going to the cavern. What? I'm drawing a cavern monster. So, um, as you see from the number of skulls, the cavern is the moderately difficult deck and the dungeon is the most difficult deck in the I game. Think scary. And the forest of course being like the introductory deck for the beginning of the game. So I'm That's drawing where from... Jim came from. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm drawn from the cavern and I'm gonna hope that I make it. This does not oh, bode well for me. The bossy monstrosity! Uh, this does not bode well ten for me. Ten plant damage. So it's ten plant damage. Um, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plant. Um, but the problem is that I have zero. water. water yeah. I have the water element. So water against grass is completely nullified. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six total damage. You're four low. I four don't low. know if I can do anything about this. Um, I, I, I cannot. <laughs> Imagine entering the cavern without um, gear cards. Oh, well, man. there's one thing I can try, and I'm going to lose it anyway if I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and play my action card. It's called Sharpening. Um, sharpening allows me to roll a d6 and add the result to my hand. So I need a 4 to draw, a 5 to win. Anything below that, I lose. Let's see. Come on, come on. Ooh. I lose. So the mossy monstrosity gets you. So it gets me. Um, so I have to suffer the defeat effect. Um, I have to discard two quest cards from my hand. Bad news, boys. I've got none. You're broke. And what does that mean? That means I don't have to suffer the effect. But the monster does get away, unfortunately. All right. So, so, because I uh, am not going to lose, uh, I'm going to play What You Got There, choose another player, look at their hand, and steal one card from it. We check out your hand over there, huh? What you, I, was, what you, I was being quiet what on you, purpose. What here. you got over there? Let me see. Uh, Here's my... Yeah, these are all the cards I've got. Oh, those are all the cards? Yeah, oh, those fine. are all the cards? Just let me have my best uh, one. Hmm. See, they're all so bad you can't even, you wish you had chosen him. This is actually crazy. I'm gonna steal. Shoot, I would turn your hand. I'm going to you steal. You don't need to tell us. I'm playing it. Uh, I'm going to steal. I just want to look at it. So I stole from you, and now I'm stealing from what you. What is that? 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 Yoink! That's steal so an equipped weapon part from Steal an weapon. equipped weapon part. Steal an equipped weapon Your little weapon crab part. blade. Hey, you're looking extra crabby now, aren't you? Is, uh, is mine. So, now. I am going to swap out my pieces here. I'm going to put in the crab guard. 
Crab guard makes me want to have crab rangoon. Crab rangoon blade. So I'm looking. I'm looking pretty aqua crab uh, build right now. I'm Bro's also looking aqua fresh. I'm looking aqua fresh. I'm also gonna place my gear card, my futuristic armor. All gear cards in my gear setup, besides this one, cannot be destroyed. And I am going to. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go monster hunting. I'm gonna go monster. Actually, no. I am going to go questing. And I. I drew two curses! Oh, curse cards, no. you play them immediately when you draw them. They have a curse timer. This one is gonna last four turns. This one's gonna last three turns. Luckily, I'm the Warlock, and I wanna get cursed. My class that I chose is the Warlock. Negate the effects of curse cards in your gear setup and gain plus two neutral strength for each. Curses still expire when their longevity is reached. So currently, I'm cursed, which usually I'd have the curse of bad luck, which is whenever I draw a card or reveal a card in the tavern, quest, or monster decks, instead reveal the top two cards, and all the players come to a consensus of which the card is drawn or revealed. Place the other card back on top of its deck, and the curse of fence sitting, which is when you would normally choose to visit the forge, or quest, and go monster hunting, you can instead choose two, op two options, and all the players come to the consensus on which one. So I'd be usually at your guys' mercy. Yeah, this would be bad for you. Not today! I'm beefed up! The warlock just gained four damage. I'm ending my turn. I'm feeling good right now. <laughs> I'm feeling, that's I'm pretty, feeling strong. Oh, are you feeling strong? Yeah. Oh, well, well, you gonna do something to me? I oh. may or may not. Don't you know I have a card that says win the game? <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm gonna make sure it's still recording. Oh my god, it isn't just a prank. Just oh. a prank, I got you guys. That's so good because of what is about to happen to you right now. It's gonna be on camera? I'm gonna use my runic sword Handle ability. I can discard one card to break a curse in any player's gear set. <laughs> You've been countered, my friend. I'm gonna play anybody smell something. Other players cannot steal from you or break your cards or force you to discard until the end of your next turn. You may play this card immediately when targeted by another player to negate that effect. This goes back to my hand, I think. It, no, it's destroyed. No, it's destroyed. No, yeah, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. This, this, is a, this is a passive effect as well until my next turn. Oh, oh, what's the matter, huh? You better capitalize on this next turn. What's the matter, huh? <laughs> yeah, now I know he's, uh... <coughs> you better really put those counters on those curses. You put, the, you, put those counters, you put those counters on those Guys, curses so we can uh, all know. Three. That's another reason why we have the dice two. that come with the game. I'm stupid and a moron. I mean, we all knew that. So yeah, yeah, you can use the it. dice to actually keep track of your timer on your curses if no one's actively... They're multi-purpose, okay? They're multi-purpose. Multi other dice shipped to other games can't do this. They can't compete. This can only they happen can't in fool's play. If, if you tried to use any other dice for this, it would, it would like crack and explode. The table would catch on fire. <laughs> you can only use fool's blade brand dice. <laughs> As counters. As counters for your curses. <laughs> So whose dang turn is it? It's still my turn. You're, you're boring, it's still man. My turn. You're stupid and boring. All right, I want to play. <laughs> I'm going monster hunting. There's a trinket seeker. There's a trinket seeker, and I've killed him. Why? Why would you do that? Oh, I, I mean, what's the modifier? Kind of... What's the modifier? That's about a modifier, oh, my dude. So plus... you're cheating. I was cheating, by the way. <laughs> so his modifier is plus one anvil card. You reveal an anvil card and slap it on top, and he gains that as an. He's still. He's, he's still, still dead. He's still and dead. It makes me think. I mean. We're just trying to find loot too. We're also kind of trinket seekers. That was probably like a felt like a nice guy. I, I, I think I saw this guy at the tavern actually. <laughs> he actually looks kind of menacing to me. So. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust a dead. guy with a crystal eye. He's dead, and for some reason his corpse is worth one coin. So, who do who do we turn these into? Who's who's taking these guys? Dude, we're like bounty hunters. Yeah, the, the morgue, I think. <laughs> I mean, we work for the morgue. It's my turn. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to the tavern. And by going to, I mean starting in the tavern. I'll save that one for a rainy day as well. Um, I am going to go questing this turn. So, okay, all right, okay. Okay. Um, all right, that's my turn. Whoa, okay, okay. So, talk about so uneventful. Starting in the tavern, I would. Let him go. I, I, I ain't using this card. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm cooking. So, I'm gonna go monster hunting. Now with my, my new curse powers engaged, my warlock power engaged, I'm going into the cavern, baby, the nine-legged spider. Four neutral damage and one D8. Okay, okay. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Watch, watch this roll, You're, too. You're and it's a, a D10. six. That's, That's a, a D10, D10, so I'm cheating. Okay, I'm so he's cheating. I'm cheating in a bad you way. You just got your bad luck out of the way. That's not fair. <laughs> All right, so, four plus... Four. 
Reroll that. Why, why do I have to reroll because that? Because of my class ability. Nice. Anytime a card effect or class ability calls for a dice roll, you can choose to force the reroll. You know this. You see, you see how this was a four? I see it. You're going to improve it. It's about to be a higher number. Oh, that's a seven. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, so he has 11 neutral damage. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gulp? Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? I'm gonna activate my monster disguise ability. Uh -oh. Guess what? Guess what, buddy? Now it's up to. Is it 13? 13. 13. 13. So All he's right. at 10. Oh, so he's at 13. I'm at 10. Oh, that was just overkill. I'm going to cast Fireball! No way. Which is going to give me three more damage. It's fire damage. He's neutral, so it's not gonna be doubled or anything, but it's gonna bring me up to at least a tie. Okay. It's going to be at least a tie. Uh, none of these have special effects. No, wait. What? You're actually you're beating it by one. 11 plus 3 is 14. I, I was, was, I was, was a, 10. a 10. I yeah. was a 10. Oh, we increased the one, two, monster. That's right. The monster, five, six, seven, the monster nine, strength was, yeah. at, was at 11. So you're 13 and 13. 13 and 13. I am currently tied and I am sweating. Uh, well, uh, well, theoretically, if you didn't, if, if, if combat just resolved right now, what would happen? Ooh, I would take. We haven't seen this yet. But <laughs> what would happen if you were both to the same strength? I would have taken the lose effect. Which is uh, skip your turn, but now that I'm tied, luckily I don't take the win or loss effect, and he's tied, and he gets shuffled back in. He does not escape into its trash pile. Mono mono, I'm out of there. Oh, I'm reading the manual right now that comes with Fool's Blade, and yep, checks out. It Whoa. says that I lose, so I also tick down my curse timers by one turn each. This is down to two. This is down to one. My action card is out. I got away with my life there. This tavern card is exhausted as well. And now I'm scared. Okay, I want to draw a card. So it's your it's, turn. It's going to be my turn. I'm going to draw a tavern card. And that's just how it's going to be. You guys are going to have to deal with that. That's the reality of the situation. <laughs> that's what I've done. <laughs> so first, I'm going to use my runic sword handle ability. You guys might remember this from last round. <laughs> I'm going to discard one card and destroy a curse. And your setup, it's that one. No! And specifically... Because that one would end naturally oh. later. Usually that would be like really good for me. <laughs> but I'm a little sneaky warlock. I am not your best friend. I don't like you anymore. Alright, I'll remember that. <laughs> when I'm writing my will. <laughs> Who's Will? He'll never know him. <laughs> so I am going to go monster hunt. You've targeted me for the last time. Uh you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> At all, actually. A really, really big cricket. Yeah, what's he got? What does he got? <laughs> Is he powerful? He's, he's a little powerful. Um. Um. Help! Help! I'm calling for help. What's I'm calling that? for help. What does that do? At the start of combat, choose another player and add their weapon and gear setup to strength. I am choosing... I don't have a weapon. Oh, okay. You! Ah! <laughs> I, that was not the last time I targeted you. Ah! I will target it again. So now you get to add your this entire weapon to your strength. Yes. Yeah. You're, you're bringing in another six. We beat more. it, and because I called you for help, we both get the win effect. Hey. Good game. Hey, thank you. Great good, to be good, me. Good, good hey. smushing that bug. That was a good part. Look, I know we've had our differences in the past. I, we, we smashed the bug. I don't think about it every night. Look, we smash we smash the bug. <laughs> We're bug smashing. Hey, what's hey, what's wait, what's our win effect? Hey. Our. What sorry, by the way. Our. Yeah, just just our. Yeah, no, you just, just We would tell you, but like it's Yeah, it's fine. I wish I could put you on, it's kind of a personal yeah, thing. Yeah, it is a personal yeah. thing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh my bad. You no, know, they they say two out of three monster hunters <laughs> share the win effect. I know I, I have know. the win effect. I, I have the win effect. Do you have the win effect? Oh. Oh, he doesn't have the win effect. Oh, what's our one effect? That's awkward. Okay, yeah, uh, moving on. Um, we both draw a loot card and one quest card. Loot? Quest? I'm looking forward to quest. I'm going to do in the opposite, the opposite order. That's crazy. Quest? Loot? Childhood treasure? One of the best loot in the game? Boom! Right. The Gilded Crest. One of the worst loot in the Woo! game. Thanks for bringing me along. I'm going to need to add that to my collection of my worst loot in the game. <laughs> hey, man, eyes, eyes on your own loot, buddy. <laughs> Oh, that's the end of your turn? That's the end of my all right, turn. All right. Taverning once again. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, I got the best card of the game. You've been saying that every turn. I'm not 
not lying. This actually is okay. crazy for my okay. build right now. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, Don't forget, that's the last turn of your. I can't do much. coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more. Okay, I one can't more. do much equipment this turn, but I do have a couple of things that I can add to my gear setup. Um, I'm going to add both of these to my gear setup. This is my. Uh, I'll, I'll make my gear setup over here. I've got my juggler's gloves and my box of junk. So the, glove, the juggler's gloves allows me to attach more pommels to my sword. I don't have more pommels right now, so I can't attach any. But uh, the box of junk, I can break this card to um, draw two quest cards. So I'm just going to do that immediately. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the discard pile. You um, smashed it. And I'm drawn to quest cards. And I'm cursed. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, you have a negative effect from curses. You might think oh, that, wait. except... What? I drew the cursed weapon, the axe of... Go ahead. Grimswold <laughs> Grodemong. Um, so this one lasts five turns. That's a, that's kind of a big deal, what actually. What does that fellow do? Um, so um, a cursed weapon is a little different than a normal curse. When I draw this card, I place it on top of my weapon, and I use the cursed weapon stats during combat. I lose one strength for every monster in my stash on this particular one. Um, so it start, has a base strength of eight, but because I have three monsters in my stash, um, that's down to five. five. So I have five strength on this guy. Um, and I can choose to break this early by discarding cards at the tavern if I'm so inclined. But I'm actually okay with that um, being my weapon for the time being. So I'm gonna go ahead. It's pretty cool. Looking. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with the axe of prayer. <laughs> <or whatever. laughs> um, so in that case, I am going to we're hunting in the forest. No, no, no. Yet no, again. No, no, no. Show us what you got. It's probably something really small and tiny and insignificant, right? That's why you're you're. It's the alligator samurai. So it has seven neutral. Seven neutral, so I'm down to five. But, but, let's see if I got anything that can uh, handle this. Uh, oh, buddy. Um, uh, <laughs> this is not boating whatsoever. Of all the things that bode, that is not in the well category. This is not boating well, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> not boating well. Um,. Rick. <laughs> <laughs> you were so confident. You were saying, oh, I love this axe. I can't get enough of this axe. And now you yep, I got, I got nothing. I now you have like an axe that. hole. So um, I have to break my top two weapon parts. Even though this is my cursed weapon, I have to break my, my yeah. normal weapon parts. So now the axe is definitely better. Yeah, so now it's to my advantage, <laughs> certainly. Um, so I'm going to break both of these parts, unfortunately. That's what's cool about cursed and parts. Sometimes they're like a weird positive sometimes. Yeah, it can, it can be helpful. Of course the warlock would say that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, well, I kind of like these uh, things. Oh, warlock. Actually, curses aren't so bad, guys. <laughs> um, anyway, this ticks down from five to four. Yep. All right. So it's freaking my turn, by the way. I am going to draw my tavern card. And I am going to... I'm going to reforge a little bit. I'm gonna swap my crab guard for this pixel guard. It's kind of ruining the uh, the visuals of it, but I think I think it's pretty good. I'm also going to throw down the brine of the abyss. It's a new gear card. Plus one plant strength, just flat, and again, sorry, plus one water strength. But against all plant monsters, all of my water strength becomes neutral. So now I've got a little aqua build going right now. All of these things are gonna do water damage. Pl Why are you holding a card? Uh, he's holding a card. As it turns out, you're still in the tavern, are you not? Yes. I will be playing the I Heard Him Call You Ugly card. This one's a really fun one. I get to choose two other players, and they enter combat with one another. Um, so uh, you have to calculate your damage versus your damage. You guys are allowed to do combat as normal as if you were battling a monster. And uh, I'll read the rest of the card once combat is resolved. Uh, I don't want to. You I'm have a, to. I'm a pacifist. I'm the card master I, here. I would never hurt my friend. Okay, so um, I've got... I've got eight over here. I'm rocking eight. Yeah, I'm five. Wait. Yeah, I'm five. Okay, so... <laughs> this guy wins. <laughs> this guy wins. Now ask me what my benefit is. So I can do one of two things. I can choose one card to steal from the gear setup or the equipped weapon from, from the losing player. So I can steal something from you. Um, or I can take a card from the hand of the winning player. Do you see the hand or is it random? Um, it's a random card from the hand. Okay. Um, so... I'm going. I'm definitely going to take one of your weapon pieces. Oh, Which why? weapon piece might I add? Why would you do that? You're a legendary one. <laughs> but why would you ever do that, though? Thanks. I'm sorry that I had to kick your ass for it, like him to steal for you. I know we just had that beautiful moment with the cricket. I'm sorry that came to this. 
So I'm going to actually That was play... the worst feeling I've ever felt. <laughs> I'm going to play the rest of my dang turn. And I think I am going... <sighs> I... The cavern's a little bit of a gamble. But you know what? I think we ball. I think we ball a little. Well, I think I think we ball. Cavern! Oh, it's oh, the wandering slime! Oh, the wandering Three slime. Three neutral. He sucks, man. He's wandering. Why is, why is he in the cavern? I'm, I'm wandering Why he's wandering. He's dead, and I draw one anvil card. And I think I have to discard down. Nope, I have the exact limit. And I end my turn. I end my turn feeling victorious and good, and my curse has expired. So uh -oh. now, now I'm a little weaker. Usually, it, it, those things expiring, you're happy, but I'm kind of sad now. Okay. I've drawn my tavern card. I'm equipping my gear. How many cards do you have in your hand? One. <laughs> five. Interesting. It's six, actually. It actually oh. is six. Oh, you're saying one plus five. Yeah. I, that's a, that's a that's smart exactly that's a right. Oh, do you need any help? Do you want me to help you carry that? What's that? Choose another player who has six or more cards in their hand. They choose two cards from their hand and pass them to you. I, I look that legendary. I heard they have a legendary weapon. Just get it back to him. I can take it off your hand. No, I've been keeping that one. I can help you carry it's, that. It's not sportsmanlike. It's you don't mine. Give it back. If you don't give it back, I got you're it. You're cheating. <laughs> you can have this one. All right. Literally didn't want that one. It's right. gonna be a comment like, well, "Why are they just bullying you? Why are they screaming?" <laughs> they hate this guy. They call themselves best friends. <laughs> they fucking hate this guy. And I'll Tell pass. You I'll pass it. If you're not screaming at the other players, are you really playing full blade? No, yeah, right. You're not. So those are the those are the two. Okay, these are literally the best cards in the game. Thanks. We gotta put that in the manual. What? Scream at one each other screen for five minutes. Bam! So we're back. The cards were actually trying to run off the table. It was very embarrassing. So we <laughs> we fixed it. Were you trying to steal the entire like like all the decks? Yeah. To, okay, that makes sense. That's actually a good play. That's not against the rules. Anyway. <laughs> Any week. Let's finish this right. guy's turn. Okay, well, I'm also going to force you to visit the, the forge next turn, by the way. Okay. You're, you're telling a man that's cursed to have... A, yep, that's exactly that's why. That's messed up and screwed up and that's, messed up. That's exactly why I've done that very thing. <laughs> <laughs> My little, literally messed up. No vengeance. Oh, you're still in the no tavern. No vengeance required. required. He's chilling at the tavern. I'm, hey, bro. I'm chilling at the tavern. I'm burned up right now. Also, I found this in the, in the dumpster. I'm going to add one card of my choice from the quest or anvil trash pile. I would right. recommend the curse. Yeah, you should get cursed. What? I love curses, so I think everyone should love curses. All these suck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the artwork's lame, the powers are stupid. <laughs> and I'm going to equip this. I'm getting so much shown in the tavern right now, I'm not even sure if I want to leave this. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, play the game. This guy's throwing his cards all over the place. That was a purposeful thing I just did. I would really like a sword piece. Imagine not having a crab blade. I don't need to imagine it. Imagine not having a sword. But I'm gonna go monster hunting in the forest. The Saturn flytrap. Uh oh. Five plant uh -oh. damage. This doesn't bode well. This doesn't bode Five well at all. Five plant damage. That's the most powerful plant. I <coughs> can't. Um, so you're a fool. You were like, oh, I need a I'm blade. A, I'm a fool. I want a blade. blade so bad, but I'm going to charge in battle without the blade. You're embarrassing. I'm a fool for a blade. <gasps> no way. But my vile transmogrifying flime. <laughs> flime? <laughs> it's been renamed, by the way. The flam, blam, blam. During combat with the monster, I can break this card and place that monster at the bottom of its respective monster deck and draw a new one to enter combat with. Goodbye. Goodbye, Flytrap. Goodbye. Right, so oh, I bet I bet this next one's gonna be so good for me. Boom. What is that? Uh, living, living, <laughs> oh. living, uh, living Bush Army. So what's the modifier? I got to draw another monster and add it to it. Uh -oh. oh, we're getting silly with the modifiers now. <laughs> Uh oh. So he's yeah. got plus two plant, and now he's got to roll what a, a d10. Yeah. Oh no. He's got to roll the d10. Come on, come on. Four. Four. So six plant. Six plant. Oh, that's I'm... worse than when you started. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so what's uh, what's the lose effect of that bush army? Unless you can do something about it, coward. 
Um, I don't, I don't think there's, I don't think there's much I can do again. Mm -hmm. You're gonna lose to an army of bush people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the fact of the matter. Maybe I got a little too bold for my britches here. I've lost. I've you, wait, defeated. you could... Why, why would I help you? You know what? You know what? We, we killed that bug together. You could re-roll this. I could. It could get worse for you. But it could, nothing to it lose, could maybe get better. Yeah. I'm making re-roll. For my glass ability, that is. Oh! Wait, <gasps> actually? Cool. <laughs> why did I tell you to do that? Well, it's still, you only have three. I still lose. <laughs> so wait, you had to roll a one to die? Yeah. Wait, you went to battle with three? Yep. You're crazy. No, no. Yeah. Am I, my, curse, my coursing fury oh, is too water. Okay. It's too water. It's too water. You're crazy. You're, you're actually Is there crazy. anything I can do? No, I tie. Gain plus one neutral strength for each curse in other players' gear setups. Oh. You have a curse. <laughs> you tie. I tie. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay. But you you could be a little scared. I tied and, and combat's been resolved! <laughs> I and we've all agreed that combat's been resolved! That's incredible that the combat's now over finally! I feel, I feel like and there's nothing that anyone can say or do about it! Because I said that combat has been resolved and enough time has passed so that I'm just gonna get down to the bottom of this. I'm just gonna. I'm just getting right. So there's nothing. There's anyone nothing, can nothing do. anyone oh my would God. like to do. So. So I actually don't want to activate my ability because the cards that I have are too good. Okay. I feel like I was. Like, I feel like I was teacher's pet. I was no. like, Erm, your class ability. <laughs> your your cards are that good. You're holding a loop. Oh, that's the that's the legendary weapon. Oh yeah, yeah that's, that's my legendary one. weapon. So yeah. that's, that's gotta be in your stash. My bad. Yeah, it is your bad. That's the end of my turn. So, so you, you tie it. It doesn't go to your stash. You tied it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not only was he like getting out of it, <laughs> he's like, I'm out of the, here. He's like, what they on the bottom I of the deck? I for What do you want? All right. It's your turn. Man can't for gore once in a while. I know. <laughs> Is a man not entitled to his for gore of his brow? <laughs> so I'm drawing from the tavern, and if I recall correctly, you made it so I can only go to the forge this turn. That's true. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot. That was like... 28 turns ago. Yep. So, so I'm going to, to um, play, I'm feeling inventive. This is, if I visit the forge, I can take a second weapon part without reforging, but I can't discard a card to take a third part. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and discard that. Um, and let's see what we got here. We're running out of table space here, fellas. This game's too awesome and epic and everything. One, two, Three. Ooh, found the, where the blades have been hiding. Taking both of those, easy game. Um, yeah, and that's my turn. Okay, I'm going to start at the tavern. Oh, and this ticks down by one. Why is no one welcoming me back to the tavern? I'm going to play. They wouldn't notice if it's gone. Choose another player and steal one random card from their hand. I'm closing my eyes and stealing from this. this right, let me give it a shuffle. Loser. Give it a shuffle. I'm shuffling on camera so that the camera can see that I'm not cheating. Give me him. Give me him. Actually, it's really pathetic the way you look with your eyes closed. All right. How do you feel about this one? Yeah. Okay, I'll grab this one. Then. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is the best card in the game, by the way. I know what he got. It's not good. It's legitimately like ownage moment. Um, so I'm going to go into the cavern again. No, I lost my... I don't, I don't, I'm not cursed right now. I'm going to quest, actually. And we're gonna search for curses. And when you believe I found two of them! Again? <laughs> the this cheating. I rigged the deck to be the best warlock I could be. So, this is gonna be at three turns, and little does he know. Huh? Each curse he has grows my strength as well. And you know what? See, this is interesting. We share the one. That, that allows you to break a curse card, but this gives you strength. So now it's a. Ooh, that's give and true. take. Okay, so that. That ends my. Actually, I got to discard down. I'm going to discard uh, this card that a gift just for you, which would remove a curse from my setup and give it to someone else. I would hate to remove a curse from my <laughs> setup and give it to someone else, so. Yoink! This clown's turn. I'm going to the tavern. Let's see what clownery you're cooking up now. I'm drawing clown. a tavern card. Interesting. Sounds like something a clown would say. That's truly. so interesting. Actually, truly. That's so interesting. I'm going to go to the end. Forge deck. Pommel. Ooh! I'm taking the runic sword. Is that a full runic set? 
Now he's one, he's Nearly. one part short. Ooh, which by the way, there are set bonuses in this game. If you have all four of the same pieces for your weapon, you get a set bonus. It's my turn. Tavern. We tavern. Welcome back to the tavern. Oh yeah, easy game. I'm playing, um, I will surpass you again. Um, I get to choose another player, I have to add. Oh, and he's a stronger Yeah, dude. Game. I get to um, <laughs> use your weapon during any and all combat this turn. Um, so I'm gonna discard that. Um, and I am going, I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little frisky. Um, crazy I'm also gonna go ahead and play, I'll be taking that. I get to choose another player, and I get to steal a card from their gear style. You know I'm taking that bucket of chunks. You stop that! When another player plays a tavern card or activates a class ability in the tavern, immediately play this card and negate that or the class ability. There was a tavern card sent into the trash pile. <laughs> that is my brine of the abyss. I will not have you touch my brine of the abyss! Let, let a man have his brine, alright? That's my brine. That's his brine. That's one thing I know. All right. It's my brine. I'm going... Oh, wait, I wasn't able to immediately put that. I'm going caverning. Breaking the rules. I'm going caverning. Not good for me. This is not good. The Big Bag Bandit. This is the Big Bag Bandit. Uh, six plus two loot cards. Really not boding, boding well for me. So six. Let's... No! I get the good words. <laughs> Eleven. Oh my no god! Way. Sixteen! No way! That is a Big Bag Bandit. What can you do against a sixteen damage bandit? I'm already going to tell you the answer is nothing. So <laughs> Die. So, let's see. Holy hell. I have to place a loot card from my stash. And the attached loot pot cards on the bottom of the loot pile. <sighs> Luckily, you did have some crappy loot cards. You're not, yeah. not losing too much, right? Yeah. That was the cards are not in my favor. That was hilarious. Okay, the big bad bandit gets away. All Is right. it my turn? And I'm taverning up. I'm gonna play. Guess I've got time to kill. You can choose a destination, visit the forge, go questing, or go monster hunting twice this turn. So I can choose, you know, combo. Yeah, you can mix and match. I can mix and match. So I am going to go questing first, and then. I... Oh, this ticks down. By the way, I forgot to take that down. You're fine. And then I'm going to go monster. Don't forget, at the end of this turn, you need to get down to. Eight I know. Points. I just souped up with all these. Don't you forget this turn. it. I'm not. I can't forget it. Uh. And then, Christian altering the rules in real time with a swish of his quill. With my quill. I've so, seen him do it. Cavern card, review! The Octopus Dragon. Let's see what I got here. One, two, he's 11, he's 11 water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, You're getting a little big for your britches. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I am going to play... Shoulder charge and gain two more neutral, which oh. should put me one, one over. So I currently, I'm taking him out. I'm taking him out. Fine. This goes away. I get the octopus dragon and his win effect. Draw two loot cards and two quest cards. Loot, I'm getting the magic ring. Oh, loot, man. I'm getting the amulet of unbearable pain. And I'm getting two quest cards. Sounds more like a curse card to me, but what do I know? Two quest cards, and I have to discard down. I, this guy's collecting cards. I have a two, card collector of some kind. Dang many. I'm going to get rid of knife toss. It's like a good one. I, you'd think. You'd think. I'm gonna get rid of the training guard. That was pretty impressive. Now my turn. My my curses tick down. It's your turn. I am drawing a tavern card. Now I'm equipping my <laughs> <laughs> runic sword, and I'm gonna go to the handle. He saw, he, saw he saw it. He I saw, saw it. He saw it. Will it happen? <laughs> next turn. Next turn. Will it happen? <laughs> Continue watching to find out. It's all right, my turn. No, I have too many cards. I need to discard them. Oh, okay. Don't want to have the people break. That the was rude. Literally. You you wanted to play before this turn was over. <laughs> yeah, get scolded. <laughs> <laughs> Boiling oil! <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Are we shipping this game with a right. cup of boiling oil? We ought to now. We ought to. Right, You're Ryan shipping this tavern. game? <laughs> with who? Um, okay. I'm in dire straits here, fellas. I'm in dire straits. I'm still cursed. Um, I'm just gonna fight in the tavern. I, 
Or not the tavern. Fight in the tavern. The tavern. The, <laughs> if only had. If only someone you know here what? had no, the I can remove your curse. I'm going questing. <laughs> That's messed up. You can just hold that above his head. You can bribe him. <laughs> could, I could Give me a loot you. card. I'll remove your curse. All right. That's my turn. It's not in the rules. You can't do that. You can bribe. All right. I'm going to help you out, Bobby, because I see, I see you're losing it. Tavern. Draw two tavern cards. Every other player draws. Sorry, I, I draw two. Everyone draws one. Someone draws two here. I want this one. So that was cheating. I'm going to go to the assembly phase. I'm going to equip the Maddening Contraption gear card. You draw and reveal cards from the top of each deck's respective trash piles instead of the decks themselves, other than monster decks. At the end of your turn, either pass this card to another player gear setup or discard two cards to break it. So this is gonna, this is gonna so draw from the frickin- float around. I'm pretty spooked. I'm pretty spooked. Uh, I don't know what's going. I'm gonna go in the cavern. A horde of glorious treasure <laughs> and dead monsters. The cavern. So he's got nine. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The nunchaku fish is dead. One loot card and one anvil card. Boom. And whoa. Do you have to discard? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Right this here. guy is crushing I've way got, too many. I've cards got too many here. things. Anvil card. Getting out of my hand and tavern card get out of my hand. And I have my turn. I draw a tavern card. Oh man, here we go. And the runic sword has been fully assembled. <laughs> because I have a effect. Well, because I have a fully assembled runic sword. You have to be the set bonus. Yes. What is it? What's the set bonus? Pass any of my active curses, of which I right now have none. To any player, then draw one quest card for each past curse. If you have multiple active curses, you can pass them to multiple players. If you draw a curse, then you immediately, then you may immediately pass it to another. Player. You are, you are curse prone right now. Okay. Okay. Man, oh brother. He's juiced up and curse prone. I'm juiced up. He's curse pilled. He's juiced. I'm gonna play. I saw it in a dream. Look at the top of each of the following decks, the Anvil deck, the Quest deck, and one monster deck of my choice. I don't draw them, I just look. Stop! I'm, just I'm, not, I'm not looking. looking. So he's wow, that one's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Can I know too? <laughs> no! Sorry. I want to look at this one. Interesting. I'm reading his I eyes. forgot so that we made this one this powerful. Is that the most scariest card in the game? No, this is the second. Most scariest in the game. It was bold of him to pick the dungeon and not the cavern. The cavern was is within Big his risk, reach. big reward, because if he knew he could slay that, that's huge. This guy's plotting and scheming. I'm plotting and scheming, alright? It's not it's in the rules, I can do that. <laughs> There's no rule against it. There's no rule against plotting. Okay. You can plot and scheme. Shut up, I'm plotting and scheming. I can't do both. <laughs> That's not the plotting phase. The scheming phase comes after the plotting phase. Fellas, schemes and plots are the same thing. <laughs> hey, Circle Tunes HD. Yes. You want to make a deal? What's that card? Choose another player. You. Hey. Both you and that player choose one card from your respective hands and pass them to each other. If you do not have, an, uh, if you do not have another card in your hand, you may pass it to this card. And, you may pass this card instead. But we both have cards in our hand, so that's irrelevant. I'm, I'm looking, I can trade. I can okay. trade something. Uh, oh, oh, the card that you're getting is, is totally so good for you. Oh, oh, wait! This card sucks. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> this is funny. You're pranking me. He got pranked. Just because this is funny for the video, I don't even care. Like, he gave me I'm Feeling Bold, which is if you go questing this turn, draw any number of curse cards, you may immediately play this card, place the curse cards on the bottom of the quest deck and draw replacement cards. That's that, not good for you. That would be terrible for me. I like curse cards. Right, 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 right. And it's also bad for me now that I have the fully assembled runic sword. Oh, so I got that out of my hand. You're like, get these things out of here. Get it out of here. And I think it's time for me to go questing. Ooh. Now that... I'm immune to curses. I can spread them around as I wish. I'm like a, I'm like a curse maniac. I'm like a warlock of some sort. No, I'm the warlock. He's cheating. I flipped the table. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. It can't be that interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. It's getting it's stupid. Hold on. <laughs> I roll perception. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your turn yet. You have to roll the d20 to roll perception. No uh, perception check. Seven. What do you see? I see it. My hand of cards. 
I see my my shrinking loot pile. It's actually smaller than when it started. <laughs> I see only a mere three dead monsters. I won't lie, this is the luckiest Warlock game I have ever played. Like, I have assembled a fully completed yeah, you sword, which is like, we're, we're killing it! You know what's funny is this is the ideal weapon for you. That's yeah, like a curse is. on curse, so if, yeah. If only Actually, the fool's this, blade this, cards this doesn't really synergize with it. This doesn't really synergize with the Warlock that much. This, oh, because you passed the curse. Yeah, you can right. pass curses. Okay, okay. And I'm gonna discard these two, which are very bad for my rank sword now. You had another? <laughs> I had another one. And I also had that, which my sword just does for free. So what? I'm down to eight. That's my turn. Um, what about it? Finally, my turn to die again. Drawing a tavern card. All right. Okay. You can handle forest monsters. You got five damage. Okay, and. <laughs> Permission to burp? Oh. Denied, soldier. <laughs> it goes back inside of me. <laughs> I'm gonna add this to my gear setup. This is Sap of the First Tree. What does that do? Um, it adds plus one grass strength and um, against- Plant strength. Yep. You're done. You're fired. Plant strength. You're fired. <laughs> um, and when I <coughs> battle fire monsters, instead of being negated, it just becomes neutral strength. Huge. Any, any, uh... Huge. Yep. So I've got the Brian Abyss. So anyway, um, I am inclined to go to the forge to try to soup up my blade a little bit here. Let's see what we got here. One. Uh, two. Um. Oh, that's pretty good for me, actually. Let's see. I'll take this, and that that's all I'll do for now. I end my Nothing turn. wrong with a calm turn. Nothing wrong with it. This tavern deck is going to be low. I'm going to play. It's dangerous out there. Choose another player. They must visit the forge on their current or next turn. I know you, you love that sword so much. And maybe there's a fifth runic piece around there. Maybe you could... Oh, there isn't. There's not. And you know there's that. There's not. Go waste a turn, you freaking dip. Um, now, I am going to go monster hiding. Because I'm so juiced up with these curses. Cavern, the eight oh, damage dwarven it. trapper. That thing's dead. Let's see. So, his win effect is you can go monster hunting again this turn. Don't mind if I dim a dome do the nine-legged spider. Oh, this could be good. My old nemesis. You got the D8. Didn't I tie to him last time? Oh, no, that's the D8. Wasn't this the, wasn't this the fellow I tied to? Yep. So four plus a D8. Six, ten, and oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gum. Frickin' gulp. We're tied. Uh, uh. I'm going to play Dual Wheel. You can build a second weapon during this combat. Oh. I'm just gonna chuck a pommel in. I'm just gonna, or I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, handle. I'm just gonna chuck a well, handle in. I'm just gonna. All right, well then in that case, up. I'm gonna play uh, any, I'm gonna discard anybody smell something to activate my class ability. This gains two strength. I'm gonna add a guard to gain two strength. Okay. So, so I'm. What's the Cold War that's brewing? I'm, I'm, I'm tied. Uh. No way. No way am I dying to the spider again. You died it. On the back God of the damn it. What is up with this spider? It's a powerful spider. I keep tying to this thing. Uh, so. So that sucks. I get that's a lot. I will never let you defeat this spider. <laughs> I may not win this game, but I will sure. I will surely not allow you to defeat that spider. <laughs> Things immortal to me. All right, I end my turn. I invented spiders. No way. Actually, though. Yep. I'm giving a lot of people. Like, Originally, they had seven legs, and then I came along. <laughs> they were all wobbly. They were not even. Yep. Your turn. All right. What do you want me to do about it? Draw a tavern card. Okay. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> it's actually the best one in the game. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I wanted you to have it. Remember, you have to visit oh, the I know I do, but there's other things I can do before that. Doubt it. Like, playing this gear card. What? Oh my god, this whole time I've been not maddening <laughs> What's the gear turn? What's that? What's the gear turn? There's nothing relevant right now, so keep your eyes off it, alright? Eyes are in your own gear. Also, I forgot to pass the maddening contraption, so this has to go to someone. I'm gonna pass oh, it yeah. to you. Oops. I think, yeah, we've forgotten we this game. Ah, we know this game. It's called well. a whoopsies moment. We're all entitled to a few. I'm going to use my runic sword. No. Oh. No, I forbid it. Oh, okay. Well, since you forbid it. 
Not okay. I'm discarding. <laughs> I'm discarding this bottle. Boom. Boom. Get rid of that curse. Yeah. Stop looking through your cards. Uh, yeah. You, you you break it. You break it, and I feel bad. You bro I broke it, and I bought it. <sighs> I broke it, and I bought it. You break it, you buy. It. All right. So since I'm doing that, anyways, I'm gonna discard my pommel. Actually, yeah, I said it, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm sticking by my word. Get rid of that! You can, do it, you can do it twice? It just says I can do it. Yep. Okay. All right, so you found my counter. My build is crumbling before my very eyes. Oh man, you're really suffering over here. I'm, I'm yeah. broke. You took my only damage. Now, now I'm gonna to starve. <laughs> All right, I think that's all I can do before I go to the forge now. Yes, sir. Go to the stinking forge. I'm going to the stinking. It smells in here. It's going to the stinking forge. All oh, these cars that I all oh, I need them all. Oh, that's so great, amazing. Uh, whatever. I'll get this so you guys can. Can I battle now? Uh, ah, yeah, sure. Let's go. Yippee! Right. I got nothing else to do this turn. That's the end of my turn. I'm done. <laughs> okay. All right. It's your last turn with that finally. Yep. So Man, if only someone would have broke that for you or something. I would have loved I would have loved to have that curse. Haha. <laughs> um I just oh, you know, it sucks because if now it's the last turn they have that curse, I could have done that the whole time. Just realized. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my tavern card, because it's my turn now and all. It can be. You know, I'm just gonna just Play a game in a more cooperative fashion compared to you guys, where you're trying to like tear apart. There's a co-op mode. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh, choose another player, and I'm gonna steal one of their equipped weapon parts. I'll take your pommel, please. Are that, you? That, that's crazy. Are you? Was that it's my idea after all? What was that when another player uses a tavern card or activates a class ability, you may play the tavern card or activate the class ability instead. I've been hoisted by my own batard. <laughs> so let's see exactly what this does. Um, I, I don't even want your stuff. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm just doing it because like, <laughs> I gotta. Like, I don't want to do this. All right, well, I've only got one equipped weapon part. Here you go. Wait, I didn't, I didn't say I was taking yours. Oh, what? Hey! Oh, I didn't think I, like that. I've done nothing wrong. I've been sitting here in the tavern enjoying my route to the beer. Give me that blade! No. Alright. No, actually, I want it! I'm sticking by my gun. You have like 10 blades! I don't even want them. It's Fool's Blade. Come on, man. Anyway, uh, you can put those in the tavern trash pile now oh, that I've been. Oh, this actually, this actually sucks. Alright, so hey, eyes on your own blade. Not like in a funny way. This is actually bad for me. Okay, in that case, then I'll take some time to uh, assemble real quick. I've still got the axe for now, but I can go ahead and uh, improve my blade a little bit. I'm going to play this bad boy, and because of my juggler gloves, I can do an unlimited number Whoa! of pommels. Yeah, this is called the feast your eyes on all these pommels. This is called the Pommel Mania game mode. That's what I'm playing. So that's crazy and broken. Anyway, I'll go questing or whatever, I guess. We're gonna have to patch that next time. Enjoy your quest. I hope you get cursed again. Did you get cursed? No. Alright. I'm diving into the tavern. And if I did, I would simply lie. How many cards are rocking over there? In your dang stinking hand. Not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something. Well, I'm gonna carry that for you. Choose another player who has six or more cards in their hand. You have to choose two cards to give to me. I do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For dude. Oh, and this was finally a destroyer. I forgot. Oh, you got you also gotta move that uh, funny gear card or something. Bam, we're back! We forgot he had the maddening contraption. And we forgot to actually resolve that effect to use the effect. It's, Whoops! It's called Fool's Blade. We're gonna get right back into it on the next one. <laughs> Cause we're the fools all along. Oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, you Dave, have to give me two cards. Do you want your that captain's expired. cutlass back? Yes, please. Give me give me my crab blade. I miss it so. Your crab blade or your I, crap blade? Okay. So that was messed up and rude. It's my only blade, so it's not that crap. It's <laughs> not my real laugh. Thanks. 
Yippee! Okay. 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 I'm going to play. Did you drop something during this turn? If you visit the forge or go questing, I can draw and reveal cards from the top of those decks, respective trash piles instead. So, I'm going to play that. I'm going to go to the assembly phase real quick. I'm going to welcome back my crab sword, and I'm going to do my anvil turn, but I'm going to do it from the trash pile. Pommel, pommel, handle, and I'm going to grab the coursing of fury pommel. And these go back on top of the trash pile. I can't equip it just yet. And that is the end of my turn. All right, I'm going to draw a tavern card. It's going to be an amazing one, actually. Oh, actually? Oh, actually? I almost dropped my whole thing. Uh, I know what that does. You can't steal things from me. If that's not what you do. Oh, okay. What is, what is your... You can take this one, this Maddening Contraption. It's oh, really good. I've heard that's one... So one of the best good. cards in the game. What is that one? I can't see it. Futuristic right. Armor, all gear cards are in your gear setup. But all gear cards in your gear setup besides this one cannot be destroyed. That one seems really good. Bad, it's bad. It's I hate it. It's so... It's so that one's... It's so that crap. one seems really good, and I think I'll be taking that. I think I'll choose another player and steal one card from their gear setup. I think I want your futuristic armor act, actually. Uh, actually, I think I do. So cool. So I'm not having fun anymore. I am. <laughs> the overall fun world. Is... <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm going to play that hit the spot. I'm going to discard all the tavern cards in my hand, because they're stinky, poo poo, and draw that same number plus one. So I'm discarding two. I'm gonna draw through. Uh, there's only one I can draw. Now what, what happens? What happens when the tavern deck is empty? It's well, crazy. This is crazy. The you trash it up pile and it re-enters play. No, no way. It's, it's like a forever game or something. No way. Give me that. Give me that shuffle. You know I got the shuffle skills. Check it. It's like a forever game or something. No way can you do this. So I counted every single tavern deck that was there. You can draw. And these. we're back. Now I have to draw two more. Can I draw five? No. Okay. I only was drawing three. I don't know where you got five from. Just for fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Are, are you gonna play that fucking was turn? For you? <laughs> okay, okay. I heard him call you ugly. What's that card do? Choose two players. Uh, me. No, you and you. What? Oh. They enter combat with one another. You can either steal one random card from the hand of the winning player, or choose one card to steal from the gear the setup of the equipped weapon of the. Losing players. So you guys fight each other. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I can count higher. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be able to count I'm the winner and you're the loser. I don't like to admit it, but I am a dang loser right now. Okay, let's see. Uh, I can either steal one random card from the hand of the winning player. Not me. Or steal from the gear setup or equipped weapon from the losing player. Now you got a mighty fine looking gear right there. I, I, he's got the same thing, but more! He can't take from me, I'm the winner. You can only take a random card. Oh from my me. god! I want that! Ah, oh, my brain! <laughs> I used to be all geared out and cursed out, now look at me. A shell of my former self. Now yeah, I you're think gonna still have a good starm! You're still winning handily. All right, guess I've got time to kill. I can choose a destination uh, twice this turn. So first, it's still my turn, by the way, guys. I'm not sure if you guys Kind of cheating, though. First, I'm going to go questing. Oh no, a curse! Ah, uh, wait. Wait, you can pass that to other players? I, would, I can pass that to other players. I would hate to be cursed. Ah! Uh, <laughs> <I'm laughs> licking my lips. Why are you drooling? <laughs> Lay it on me. There you go. You want to curse, curse, buddy? At the end of my uh, turn, I have to must I must discard one card, even if I've already discarded down to the hand size on it. Okay, that's not good. Hold on. What's Hold the, on. What's the turn timer on that? That's four. Give him a four. Give this man a four. Give him a four. Hold on. Now I draw an extra card. Oh, because you whoa, because you're Be because of my ability. Your set bonus is popping. Okay. Okay. And now I've gotten a little bit stronger because you have a curse. 
don't like the tides and how they're turning them right now. I would consider myself Neptune because I'm turning the tides. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. So let's see. I'm at uh, one, a two, a three, a three, four. That's copyright. Video's over. <laughs> I didn't finish it. <laughs> no, I did. Oh, I'm gonna mates. go questing again. All right, my turn's finally over. God, the so, thirty minute. Sorry, turn. I was roaring. The thirty everyone. minute day. My turn. Alright. Alright, for starters, I'm playing this right this very second. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some of this. I'm gonna do some of this. I'm getting quite the gear setup going on here. So I'm going to I have the maddening contraption for starters, which means I'm gonna actually gonna honor the effects of it this time because I remembered it. So I'm drawing and revealing uh, cards from the top of each deck unless I go monster hunting. Okay. For starters, I'm gonna add this to my gear setup. Map to long lost treasure, breaking it immediately. Um, which means I get to draw from the loot pile for the love of Ooh, shmoney. Oh, yes. Oh, what is that? That's the Doomsaber. Did you find the Doomsaber? Guy's yeah. got the Doomsaber. Maybe I knew the Doomsaber. Okay. okay. I'm also going to go ahead and add the Blood of the Great Dragon to my uh, gear <clears throat> setup. I am going to... I'm not liking this. I'm not liking that my momentum hit a wall. <laughs> I'm going to play my tavern. I'm going to choose another player and force them to discard a random card from their hand. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> this guy. One of those cards, I'm going to look away and randomly select one. You overshot. <laughs> oh, that one's good, oh. actually. Oh, oh, it got discarded, oh, though. So. His boots! My boots. My J's. <laughs> he, 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 he got him for his foams. <laughs> He got me for my J's. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's that's pretty good. Um, now I'm going to pick a destination, and I am most certainly going oh, to Miami. Are you going to go to Miami? In the tavern. Oh. Or a cavern. The, ca the, tavern. <laughs> the tavern cavern! Zero. Oh, this is a spike pit trap. Um, so it's zero plus one D6. I already know I'm going to clear yeah, this. Yeah, you got it. So I've got way more than six. What did it do? Absolutely destroyed, and I'm finally drawing loot again. Let's go. Oh, the second worst loot in the game. I don't like this. What's the loot? Um, the loot is the rare coupon. Ooh. And I get to add this guy to my stash as well. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. Alright, where's that where's that contraption going now? Um, so the contraption, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this guy with the contraption. He's got too much. I'm, power I'm dodging him. the funky and contraption. And because of my curse, I have to um, I have to discard a card. I'm gonna go ahead and discard this particular card and then reduce the curse's duration by one. And that's the end of my turn. Finally on the board. Okay. okay. <sighs> oh. So that's the worst card of the game. I am feeling bad. I this is not this is this is this is not good. This is not good. A little warlock like me needs a little bit of uh, a little bit more cursitude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go questing. And I am my turn. Hey, hey, you're not drawing from the top, buddy. You've got the maddening you're, contraption. You've got the maddening oh. contraption, you oh. fool! Oh no, you're right. I'm I'm so sorry. Oh the oh the maddening contraption. Oh the one that makes me draw right. from the top. Of the discard pot. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I forgot, okay. I forgot okay. to discard down. Discard okay, down. so hypothetically, if I wanted to go questing, what, well, which one would I, what would I get? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh. I, hypothetically, if I went questing, wait. <laughs> Dude, I'm just asking. This is a question. This is a question. I'm just asking. All right, get it over with. <laughs> All right, hold on. I got too many cards in my head. I need to get out of them. Get out of my head. All right, hold on. We're posting your social did, security did, number on the did, internet for everyone to know. Two, two, one. <laughs> did you just give him his boots back? Is he's that what's about to happen? He's getting his boots back. He's getting. He his gave boots. me for my jays. He gave jays. me my jays. The jays are back. He gave me my phones. <laughs> okay. I'm going question. No, let's go question. I'm gonna pass it back to you. I love okay. that I'm dodging that's this fine. contraption. This contraption's got nothing to do with me, pal. And that's my turn. My turn again. In that case, drawing from the tavern. Welcome back to the tavern. I see you stole um, that guy's J's and you gave him back to him. <laughs> hey, thanks for my J's. That's kind of weird. Okay, so I'm going to do a little assembly. I'm going to take my blade from my stash, my ultimate doomsaver here, and boom. What is that thing? What? This is a very powerful blade. Six strength. And um, I don't even need to think about it. I'm going to the cavern. Another trap. Just my luck. Zero plus a D12. D12? Give me that D12. I can, I can beat these cuffs. Five. Five. Easily yeah. decimated. So I get to add this to my stash, and I get to draw two loot cards. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like what's happening. All right. Oh? We gotta get, we gotta get back in the game. Okay. Your turn's over, right? My turn's over. 
Gotta get back in the game. Gotta get back in the game. Okay. So, I'm going to go to the assembly phase here. I'm going to slap on me pommel. This is the first time in the game I've had a finished sword. So that's kind of funny. Bam! I'm also going to add my gear card, my glue gloves. Which my glue gloves, uh, monsters now, cannot break more than one of my weapon parts at a time. Not bad, not bad. We take those. Okay. And I'm going to go... I... I know, I, I know I just did my assembly phase, but you might have played Tavern Crawl. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm literally cheating. I'm cheating. I'm feeling hostile. If you go monster hunting during this turn, win that combat, I can reveal a second monster and gain combat with it. I just forgot to play that card. That's okay. That was in my my, my plan. That's all okay. Right. Don't don't worry, everyone. You can just do so, that now, So, I guess. new rule. If your name uh, rhymes with uh, Burkle Tunes uh, Brantley. Hey, guy. New rule. If, if you made the game, you get to make up <laughs> rules on the fly. <laughs> There's no fly in the room. Skeleton! Jim! <laughs> I revealed Skeleton. He has six neutral. I'm cleaning him. I'm killing him. Draw one card from the top of the quest or anvil trash piles. He's dead. Wait a minute, Skeleton. Skeleton? Could it be? Wait. Wait. Wait a second. I already have no, Jim. No, no, no. But you killed Jim. I have Jim. This can't be. Skeleton. This can't be. He's come back with a vengeance, and he's and he still died. But look, he's, he's home with Jim now. Yeah. But I get to have his one. His bones have been reunited with his flesh. That means this guy has no bones. <gasps> so this look is at this. Skeleton. Draw one card from the top of the quest trash pile. I'm gonna go with this five turn curse card that usually you wouldn't want to pick. But ooh, buddy, that's gonna juice me up. And I get to fight another monster because I played. Uh, the oh, a curse card. Of course. A curse uh, card, you said. Oh. So while you're plotting and scheming over there, I, I found the path blocking oak tree. Zero. D twenty, brother. D twenty, plant damage. Watch as I roll this two. Eighteen. <laughs> so I, I could really make you re-roll. Hey, you got re-roll ability. Can you, can you re-roll it? I'll think about it. It could be nineteen or twenty. It could be. It could. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, that'd be so. You should try it. That'd be so cool. Yeah, I'll think about it. Uh. Calling it quits. At the start of combat, retreats. Place that monster on the bottom of its monster deck. You can choose to visit the forge or go questing before you Oh, return. okay. So he made I'm it. getting out of there. He made it out alive. Oak tree's going at the bottom. We know the bottom of the forge deck is juice now. And I'm going questing here. Ooh, another curse. Makes me more powerful. Thank you. Mm, it makes me more powerful a little bit as well, maybe. Uh, gulp. Uh, and now that is the end of my turn. Oh, I didn't reduce the uh, curse timer on this. Hey, so you're crazy and cheating. Yeah, I'm, I'm forgetful, man. Do you recurse it? The, do, do you uh, take it down a turn, the turn you got it as well? Yes. yes. Okay. I think I missed that, but oh well. We all make mistakes. We're all humans. And It's not like we're trying to show this game off and it's best yeah, possible. Yeah, it's like, not like we're completely ruining it. You're ruining it. Okay. You're ruining it. Circle, what's up? You can spare one, right? What, what does that do? No. I, I can choose a player who's more loot cards than me. Certainly uh, do. I don't know if I do have more loot cards. Uh, than I, I would say you objectively uh, do. And I mean, you could, you at least get to choose and pass which one, right? That's that's good and fine. Give you a monster. You know, that's gotta be a loot card. Gotta, gotta, gotta be a loot card. Okay. Huh. This guy mixes his monsters with his uh, loot cards. It's actually stash. cringe. I really yeah. like it. I really like doing this. I guess you can have a cool rock. All right. That's not bad. Literally the best loot card that I have. Well, thanks. The worst one that I have. Now it goes to the discard pile. Now I've got so much freaking gear. I don't know what to do with it except to playing it, actually. My phone! So ceaseless kicking. <laughs> <laughs> and. Wait, how many cards do I even have? My super heavy armor! Ka ching! Uh. He's getting a little geared out over here. I'm, I'm, I'm gleared out right now. And I'm going to the dungeon. No. Remember, this also does reduce no, your no, hands. No, no, no. I know. No, 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 no. Two, no. three, four, five, six. Oh, he's within the limit. I know how to count. Okay, dungeon, dungeon. What do we got from the dungeon? My own shadow. Oh! It's ten neutral strength. What do you got? I have one, two, three, four, plus two. One more for each curse card that another player has. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. 
Oh, he crushed it. Forced disenchantment. Choose a player. Their weapon loses all fire, water, or plant strength and plant Ooh. strength during this combat. Okay, so you take all three. that down. So I lose three. So you're still tied. What's still tied. What's the uh, what's this guy do? Yep. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, I'm going to discard my pixel blade. That brings me back up to twelve. All right. Um. Oh. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna activate my monster in disguise ability. I'm gonna discard a card. <laughs> I'm gonna discard this card. Now it's this goes up to twelve. Okay, I can do this all day, brother. I can discard another one. I'm up to fourteen. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold I got on. so many bad cards in my hand. I I'm lousy with bad cards. I can do this all day. What's the win effect on that? Win the game. What is it? Draw one loot card and three quest cards. Do you kill that thing? I kill that thing! Ah! Die, my own shadow, die! That's all. One loot card? Your own shadow? Oh, that's, that's a, that's a oh, time. The time popsicle? Three. The time popsicle! Quest cards? Oh! One of them's a curse? I'm, I'm sorry, I... You know I can't give no, him the curse. No, curse me, curse me! I hate curses! Oh, I no, hate curses! You know I can't give him the curse. Using my official Circle Tunes HD Fool's Blade counting dice. What? You have that? <laughs> Patent pending. Yeah, this is actually different from a normal die. This one allows you to count. The others merely like Dracula. Roll. <gasps> yep. That's actually the tagline of Fool's Blade. Count like Dracula. Oh. <laughs> yep. Nosferatu. <laughs> That's your turn, right? That's my turn, right? All right. This guy right. plays too many turns. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with one of these. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of assembly real fast. Um, let me make sure I don't have any... I think there's to play. no assembly required in this game. So, I'm gonna use my assembly phase. I'm gonna We're add so back. We're the so ultimate back. doom saber. Okay, I'm terrifying. going to add my ultimate doom guard. And, because of my juggler's gloves, I can still have an unlimited number of pommels. Which means I get to add yet a third pommel. An ultimate doom pommel, no less. <gasps> I'm no crazy. Worries. Anyway. I'm going monster hunting. In the dungeon. No. In the dungeon. No, I forbid it. Uh, you cannot stop me. I forgot, I forgot to get rid of this. Boom. Oh, I got another trap. So. Oh, <laughs> this could it's be the good. gauntlet. So the gauntlet is one of our favorite cards. The gauntlet is I have to roll three dice, a d10, a d20, and a d12. If I somehow pull this off, I get to draw five loot cards. There's your 10 and your 20. Um, Here's my 12. This was on four to count my curses. Okay. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. And this guy gets to make your reroll. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> uh, six. <laughs> six. So seven, thirteen, nineteen. Nineteen damage. Can you One, get two, it? three, four, five, six. Seven, hold eight, on, nine. Hold eight, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, dear, Neptune. Let's, let's not actually, get a little hasty here. He's actually evil. Someone here, has, someone here has a thing or two to say about this. That is looking a little low. We're going we're gonna to be re-rolling that. Seven's turning into a ah! 17. <laughs> there is... No way can I beat this, <laughs> but I am very fortunate that the Gauntlet Trap's lose effect is that I just placed this monster card on the bottom of its deck. So, no harm, no foul. I didn't get to all the loot, Phew. but, you know, could have been worse. Phew. So anyway, um, that's the end of my turn. I'm ticking down my curses. Um, uh, I like the idea. And I have to discard a card because of, uh, because of the curse here. So I gotta discard a card. Um, you got the contraption over there, right? Yeah. Um, also, I love the idea that like he got past the gauntlet, was on the other side of the gauntlet, and he was pushing him back. Like, push, like, push <laughs> back I'm, uh, you're getting the you're getting the contraption. Gosh dang it! I love that dodging the contraption. My turn. That's your Tavern turn. card. Holy hell! Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking I'm winning the game. I am going to go monster hunting. In the dungeon. Okay. All right. We're at this part of the game now. Oh. The ceiling crush trap. <laughs> so, because I know this guy over here is going to make the d20 that rolls uh, Ooh, the me? worst for me. Little me? No way. You know what? Oh, do it. Yeah. Call for help. And call him for help. But then he gets a bonus <laughs> if we win this. Okay, so call me for help. Hey, let's get it. Hey, let's do this. What, what, Ray, remember when we killed that cricket? 
Yeah, remember when you keep removing my curses? I forgot. Check this out. Eight. Eight. You gonna make him re-roll it? Yeah. Really gonna have yeah. to live yeah, through that, this shame. Oh, that's it's gonna, that's gonna, gonna have to be a nine. You wanna watch this eight go that's lower? That's gonna have to be a nine. And the eight's a ten We now. crushed it. We destroyed it. We both get to enjoy three loot cards. Oh. 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 I got the ornate sheath, the magic tome, and the gambling man blade. Oh, we're getting into the end game here now, boys. We're getting souped up. Uh, you fools! End game now. You fools! No, no, no. Wait. No, 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 no. So I'm a fool. Through the power of movie magic, we uh, we cleaned up the table a little That's bit. That's incredible. <laughs> it's not that actually crazy of an effect. Which card was that? It's your turn, I guess. If you want to pl keep playing, like, if you, if you want to play this. I don't, I don't think you'll want to keep playing. I can't do that. <laughs> The Madman Contraption. Let's, let's shuffle, shuffle that Madden back Madden. in the deck. I remember the Madman Contraption. Yeah, so that is a little too late. You win the game. There's yeah. too many fun effects in this game. I love I love looking at cards. God, looking at cards. <laughs> we should add a card that every time uh, you misread something, you have to eat a card. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the expansion. <laughs> the Fool's Blade. It's got a guy rubbing his tummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the choking hazard's for. Map to long lost treasure. Well, well, at the tavern, I can break this card to draw a long loot card. What? Oh, man. Why did we put that in the game? You got to redraw it again because of the whole drawing from the trash pile type situation. But maddening a trap is good for him. Are you going to the dungeon like a crazy I person? I want to go to the dungeon like, like a crazy, a crazy, crazy person. Crazy person. Ah, crazy. I'm so crazy. I'm so crazy. <laughs> the amber, amber crystal swords. <laughs> <laughs> the amber crystal swords, man. 14. Was that plant damage? Plant. Ooh. Okay, this this one this one might be a little tough for me. This this one might be a little tough for me. Yeah. Fourteen plants. Okay, let, let, let's let's count this up. Let's count this up. So, okay. So, like, this game requires a little bit of addition, a little math. One, three, two, three, four, and now one for each, each curse card. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, ten. Five yeah. doubled. Yeah, 9 10 for the fire. Yeah, 9 10. Zero. Nothing for the No, fire. no, because I have the brine of the event. Oh, you've got the brine. I forgot you were you up with the brine. 11, 12, 13. 13. All right, I'm digging into the boots of, of, of ceaseless kicking here. That's, that's, that's what we're doing. What does the boots of ceaseless kicking do? I can discard any number of cards from my hand and gain that uh, uh, plus two strength for each one discarded. So I'm going to discard the gibbering skull. Really not a fan of that. Gibbering one. skull's getting out of here. So now I'm up to 15. All right, so he he clears it. I clears it. He beats it. I clears it. All right, Amber Crystal Swordsman, you're done. You're done. My win effect is I draw two cards. I'm sorry, two loot cards. Oh, that, that loot deck is getting all yeah, scanned. Yeah, it's, it's getting tiny here. We're in the end game, boys. Ooh, ooh. This is and this is two Amber cards. This is coming down to the wire here. We're actually, I think, all pretty close. Because you've got a really strong blade. I think I still have the best pile. He's souped up with, oh, this is getting close. Ooh. Now I, Maddening Contraption goes. I'm a, you, I don't you, want you, the contraption. You, play, you get that thing. I don't want the contraption. Yeah. Hold on, now I need to discard down to six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to get rid of one. I'm going to get rid of one. That is, it is. Oh, well, it's the same card twice. Yes, it is right, the same card turn? twice. That's the end of my turn. All right, so I'm drawing from the tavern. Oh, no, you no, got I'm the not, I got the right, right, right. So you one time I remember. So, yeah. Definitely doing that. I'm going to play the I found this in the dumpster. I'm allowed to add one card of my choice from the quest or the animal trash piles. Get the, the, the gibbering skull. This is absolutely the card that I want. You're getting the gibbering skull? Yes, I'm taking the gibbering skull, and I'm immediately going to... Uh, well, actually, not yet, because I'm still in my tavern phase, and there's a reason for that. So he has reasons for things he does. I am uh, forging uh, the ultimate no, no, no. doom saber. No, 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 no. The handle. No, no, no. no. The guard. No, 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 no. The blade no, 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 no. and the pommel. Oh my! Two fully completed swords in one game. Is that the first time in like our playtest we've seen the doom saber completed? Yeah, it is. Actually. That is terrifying. We've tried everything to prevent that from ever happening. That is terrifying. And I get to add these two pommels because I'm I'm like really cool and my mom loves me. <sighs> Wait, is, there a card, is there a card that says your mom loves you? Not yet. That's not in the rules. <laughs> Alright, so now... What does the fully completed ultimate doomsaber do? Um, so what's interesting about the doomsaber, it's the strongest weapon in the game, 
But, but, don't tell um, me there's a drawback. There's a drawback. So every part that you have reduces your score um, by a certain amount. This one reduced by four, by two, by two, and by two. The set bonus means it no longer reduces my score when we calculate everything in the end. So I get this wicked strong sword, plus my pommels, plus all my gear, and I'm going to play the Gibbering Skull. The Gibbering Skull, I cannot draw or play any more tavern cards from here on out, but players can't target me with tavern cards. And because I'm very happy with my weapon, that's good for me. Oh no, oh no. Um, I, if, I, if I feel the need, I can boot this later by um, discarding it or passing it along to someone else. Let's so go. Pass I'm getting to the point where I'm like cannibalizing this table, so let me just <laughs> scooch this bad boy back. Oh, the Doom Saber is so sweet. This is like, oh man. I've been, I've been jonesing for the Doom Saber this whole game. He's dooming it up. And now, I am most certainly going to fight in the cavern. The dungeon? The dungeon. You don't know what you're yeah, doing, man. Dungeon. You don't know what you're doing. 14. 14 water. 6. 9. 12. 15. Straight that, out of the gate. That thing, I are, that thing is cooked. It's cooked. <laughs> so I'm, I'm adding it to my monster stash, and I'm activating its win effect. I get to draw a loot card, and three quest cards? Three of them? Get cursed. Get cursed. Get cursed. Get cursed. Get cursed. I'm cursed. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. So I, I, this one um, actually changes how I draw cards. So um, whenever I add a card to my hand, I have to discard one card of my choice. So I am drawing this curse, not discarding that. I'm gonna delete this plant blade, and then um, I have to discard this curse. Is this the last turn of this curse? But because I drew that, I have to discard another random card. Which that so that was the, my discard for um, for the this curse, but this curse automatically makes me discard one at the end of my turn. So I got to discard one more. I mean, that's screw it. I'll just get rid of my other blade. Can I play this dang game now? And then this curse is finally expired. So that's gone. And this ticks down by one. And that. My Man, the colorblindness is actually helping you against all those elemental yep. like enemies. It's right. my turn. All right. It's coming down to the wire here. Okay, okay, okay. I am going to go... I'm going to draw from the trash pile instead, which is actually awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm going to add one card of my choice from the quest or anvil trash pile. I'm definitely going to go into the quest. Put that back. Add this to my hand. And now I am going to go monster hunting in the dungeon. The arrow trap. Oh, ball. that's like one of the easiest ones in the whole game. And we're getting through it. So I got to roll a d8. Is that one turn left? Seven. seven. I clear that. Anyone want to make, stop me? Anyone want to re-roll it? Re -roll it? Huh? It was a seven. It was a seven. Let me re-roll it. No. Nah, yeah. No point. Nah. No. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get my loot card. That means it's my turn now. Yes. Yeah. You can handle that. What am I doing? Choose another player. They must go monster hunting on their next turn. However, I'm also smashing my vial of monster pheromones. While at the tavern, you can break this card and choose a player. The next time they begin combat with a monster, the monster gains five strength of its own type. Ooh, leave that on the board. Okay. Okay, so that's terrifying and rude and mean. And okay. Well, that's the Honestly, that's the, that's the last time I played the game with you. That's so. the whole point of oh, the game. Oh, it was worth it, man. It, it was. That's the whole point of the game. <laughs> this is going back to my hand, and I'm going a monster hunting in, what? in the dungeon. What? The Masterful Necromancer. This is damage. Five, five plus, plus a monster. Five so a monster. plus one more monster. Okay. Oh, that's tough. Go. The Vine Lasher, 16 plants. No, 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 16. Oh, sorry, 16 it. neutral. Yeah, sorry, 16 sorry. neutral. 16 neutral. I'm stupid. Using my boots of ceaseless kicking. Oh, he's the 14. 16. 18. Ooh, not bad. Discard him. You're done. He's dead. You're done. Nah. Actually murdered like in a gory fashion. What's the win effect of the uh, necromancer? Clean the cat, uh, the attached card, this one, and draw two loot cards. 
Oh, it's coming down to the yeah, water here. Yeah, we're down to the end of the loot deck now. Uh, uh, That's my turn, right? Yep. Watch me absolutely crush whatever monster is waiting right in here. So, because of the Jibbering Skull, um, I cannot draw or play any tavern card, so that is off the table. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my gear setup with Power Gloves, so that gives me even more power, by the way. That's what that's about. Um, so, I'm definitely gonna go monster hunting in the dungeon, and hopefully this will be a three. Let's see. I'm fighting the, let me turn around here. This is the Molten Gold Golem. Um, it's got nine fire strength plus three loot cards. So. I think we're gonna, oh, see, we're gonna see the last three loot right, this cards. This is it, this is gonna be tough. Nine, oh. plus five, wait, wait, oh 14, my God. plus five. 14, 19, plus one. 20, I've got this. One, two, you three, can four, be five, 20 six. fire? Yes, six, nine, 12, 15, um, 16, <laughs> 17, 18, and because of my sap of the first tree, I'm because it's a fire monster, I no longer suffer the, the penalty from uh, my plant damage versus that. So 17, 18, 18 counting this, 19. But what about your color blindness? What's the color blindness? Well, it doesn't matter, it's all gonna be treated. Oh, yeah, it's all gonna be treated as neutral you're, instead you're, anyway. Yeah, that your plants, okay, so it's all neutral. Yeah, so it's all oh, neutral okay. anyway. Okay, so let me recount this. Let me restart the count 6, 9, 12, 15, 17, 18. 19, 20. And what what if I roll this d4 and get any result, then it will result in a victory. Land it. Land it. Four. Plus four. Oh, no, Let's go. I have, well, it wouldn't accomplish much anyway. What a beautiful final boss. All right, so that's perfect. So I get to um, take this and all the attached, attached cards, cards. And now that we've exhausted the loot deck, the game is the over. The game's over. And now it's very simple to calculate the... Uh, the victory, we're gonna add up our loot piles, um, our stash, if you will. So we're gonna add up all the loot in our stash, we're gonna add up all the monsters in our stash. Every monster has a value on it. Um, so we're gonna add up all that, and then we're also gonna add up the value of our currently equipped weapon. Parts in our hands do not they count. They don't matter. For the total. Gear does not count for the total. So we're gonna get to counting, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Yep. I think I might have lost despite having like the, the biggest explosive start. All right, let's hear your number. Forty-seven. Hmm, not bad. Yeah. What about you? Let's. Well, what do you got? Fifty-one. Oh. Oh, he looks very confident. All I hear. I think. Ladies and gentlemen. Fifty-six. Ah! <laughs> Good game. Good game. Not bad. Ah. I thought I had the gun. That was close. That was really close. I thought really I had close. the gun from behind. I, I wow. genuinely. I had the worst start, and I ended up with the best finish.